Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. We just got our latest battle box. This is mission 76. Just fair warning, it is like 90 plus degrees, 95 degrees. It's been like that for a handful of days here in New Hampshire. So I'm just like burning up. If my face looks all shiny, it's just because it's really hot. So anyhow, let's uh, take a look at the items in this month's box. The first item is this, which is a Lord and Field Outfitters koozie. So leather on the outside, you got neoprene on the inside. You do have their logo on the back it says rugged rackish refined right there um i can tell you right off the bat when i saw 25 bucks they're 24 dollars and 98 or 89 cents something like that for this i know people are going to be like 25 bucks for a koozie what it's leather it's got some neoprene on the inside but 25 bucks is a lot of cash uh for this first item i looked at it there's nothing supernatural about it it's not like it's you know has some special features or anything um so you know, I'm always bringing honesty to you guys when I do reviews. That just seems like a lot of money for a koozie. So that's the first item. Let's see what else we get in this month's box. Here's item number two. This is from Gonzo. This is the 7601. Nice looking knife there. Got the locking system similar to like the Axis lock system from uh, Benchmade. Um, let me give you some of the details. So blade length 3.42, 3 overall length 8.07, blade thickness 0.12, handle thickness um, or handle length 4.65, handle thickness is 0.77. 440C for your your steel, G10 for the scales. Value for this one is 26 bucks, which I think is really reasonable. It's a nice looking blade. I mean, simple, sleek design. Um, it's not, as I press down the, uh, the lock system, it doesn't flop down, so you're gonna have to break it in a little bit. You do have a pocket clip here, very low carry there, only for the uh, only for right side or right hand carry lanyard hole you can see but a nice basic EDC knife 26 bucks 440c for your steel so I think that's very reasonably priced got some nice jimping on the back and there's another item in this month's box at the basic level all right valued at four bucks this is the crud cloth and the deal with this thing is that it's basically a shower in a bag on the back it says before opening outer package smack the inner pod with fist to pop it. Once popped, squish the soap around, tear the package open at notch, unfold the cloth and scrub your body. And then when done, use reclosable bag to store the dirty cloth. So it's kind of cool. If this was a super high cost item, I'd be a little bit more concerned, but four bucks, that's cool. If you're in a place where you can't like wash off in a stream or a lake or whatever, um, this is kind of a cool thing to kind of clean yourself up. 12 inches by 12 inches, multi-use washcloth, product weight, 125 grams. Uh, it says reusable, washable, biodegradable. So that's kind of cool. Simple little item there for cleaning up when you're in the outdoors. All right, next up we have this, which is the Nomadic Vacuum Bag 2.0. So let me show you how big it is when it's all like opened up. It's definitely the extra large. So they do have the instructions here. So step one is load your clothes, then roll down the buckle tops, and then all oh, buckle top, turn the valve, open up the airway, and basically squeeze out the air and then seal it shut. So here's what the top looks like. Massive Ziploc right there. So you put your gear in it, Close it up, roll this down so it's nice and secure. You're gonna snap it shut. And then you've got a valve down here on the bottom. Open that up and then just compress all the air out and that's gonna basically compress all your gear so you know, it goes from a large bag to a much more compact item. Value for this one is 45 bucks. I've never looked into these before, Nomadic, um, but I do like the idea of just like, you know, compacting my gear. Um, I use packing cubes from Expedition when I travel. I roll up my t-shirts, put them in there, and it keeps everything nice and organized. Um, so this could be cool. Again, 45 bucks. For some people, they're gonna be like, I don't travel that much, so not super helpful. Um, I don't know as far as like, you know, Nomadic and their types of products, long-term use and durability. The concept is cool. I do think 45 bucks, I'm not trying to be negative on BattleBox here, but I do think 45 bucks is a bit much for this and I think people are gonna be like either they're gonna love it because they have a perfect use for it or be like I don't know if I can use that thing so much so anyhow that's our next item from Battle Box this month. Our right, next item valued at 90 bucks is 23 by 12 by 9 it's a Lord and Field leather duffel so you got that uh, pocket on the outside you got these handles you got a pocket here at the end it's got kind of this first fur like lining and then one on the other end and then you got a shoulder strap as well <clears throat> um, I think for a lot of people, they're like, I'm looking for tactical survival gear, so what does a leather duffel have, have to do with that? I, this is not my jam right here. So, yeah, I don't have a ton to say about it, honestly. I mean, it's like, it's fine, it's a bag. I'm not gonna use this 
it's just not my style. So tactical survival outdoor gear, this feels a little bit outside the box for that. Um, but that's what you get in this month's box. Again, valued at uh, 90 bucks. All right, our knife of the month is this, which is the Fox Edge Company. It's the FE520. VG10 for the steel, very kind of tactical, aggressive looking knife. Some of the details here, your blade length 3.74, overall length, overall length 8.54, weight 6.7 ounces. Blade material, like I said, is VG10. It's a drop point flat grind with a black Cerakote, black G10 for the handles. Uh, stainless steel locking liner, and the designer is Boris, Boris Manasharov. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, value for this is $159.99. It's a cool looking knife. I mean, definitely super tactical looking. That jimping goes way up on top. The jimping's nice though, because it's like gives you extra grip, but it's not super aggressive, so I like that. My hand fits nicely into that thing. I could definitely see this. It's got a glass breaker on the end. I could definitely see this as like a large size EDC. Looks like, yeah, you can use the pocket clip on both the right and the left hand side, depending on how you want to set it up. Uh, VG10 is a good steal. I have a Spider Co. Enough, which is in VG10, which I like a lot. You've got the flipper there for deployment. And you do have kind of the, the fuller there. I guess you could try to deploy it with the fuller. It's a little bit, a little bit harder to do, but I guess you can, I'll show you here on camera. So that's what it's like to do with the fuller, to deploy it. 159 for that. Kind of a slick looking bait blade. A little bit futuristic with the angles. Let's look at the back there. You got some spacers. And definitely like a sweeping, sweeping blade there. Lock up. I'll show you guys. Lock up looks good to me. So yeah, again from Fox Edge Knives. The model FE520 in VG10 steel. All right, so at the end of every battle box, I mentioned a couple things. First is that I'm not reviewing all these items. They're just like, I have other gear that I want to review. This is more kind of like an overview of the box. The other thing I do is give you a rating from like terrible to awesome, you know, kind of good or average is in the middle. I would put this as, as average. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of a lot of these items. The, the leather bag, not so much. The koozie, not so much. The nomadic thing, fine, but not great. Um, yeah, I would say it's like an okay bag, an average bag. Um, I do think this is a slick looking knife, so I think that's cool. Um, but for me, what I'm looking for if I'm uh, getting monthly boxes from Battle Box is a little bit more something leaning outdoors, leaning tactical, leaning, you know, emergency preparedness, that type of stuff. And this, this is just not my jam. So let's hear your thoughts. Um, this for me is like, like I said, average, okay. But what do you think? Do you like it? What do you not like? What do you like? What would you trade, trade, trade out? What have you used from them that, them that you've liked? Um, this is probably the lowest rating I've given BattleBox in at least the last six months because I've liked a lot of the stuff they've sent out. Uh, SE Azula, they had a Gerber folding knife. They've had some outdoor like bushcraft gear that I really liked. This one is just not winning it for me. So um, that's my opinion. Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section and let's get that conversation started now. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.